What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Lex Visionary, Alexis, aka Lex Visionary. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to like the first real video. Um, the last video was just talking about like what you can expect from this channel, and that's kind of changed because I'm changing. And um, welcome to the first episode of Lex Talk, where this is pretty much a conversation I'm having with creatives. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to talk about certain topics. It's like a talk, a little little talk show, you know, maybe whatever. Um, just want to have like open dialogue, open conversations with other creatives. Today I want to talk about anxiety with cre how, to, how creatives could deal with anxiety. My tips on how I deal with anxiety as someone who is a creative. For the ones who don't know me, my name is Alexis Davis. I am a graphic designer who specializes in branding and apparel. I just really got into the branding part. I've been doing merch design for a long time. Um, I wanna say I've been doing merch design since 2019. So not really a long time, but a good amount of time. I've been like designing clothes within streetwear and you know doing graphic tees and stuff like that I just love branding and, and like helping brands not just clothing brands but like whether it's a coffee shop or a you know moving business and they need branding you know what I'm saying just helping creatives create my slogan for uh, Lex Visionary is visions to reality so I just wanted to have a open you know, conversation like today, I woke up with some anxiety. I I deal with it the only way I truthfully know how to, and that is to pray and ask for the Holy Spirit to, you know, you know, just give me strength. One, I say the serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Pray about it first, but then faith without works is dead. So you also need to take action. And those are for the people who are spiritual, whether you're a believer or not. I do believe um, you should have like a relationship with God. That's one thing I do want to say on this channel. I will be talking about the Lord. So in videos, like my, my videos may not be centered around, like it, it, my genre isn't, you know, just Bible talk and stuff like that or Christianity, stuff like that. But I am going to bring up God a lot in, in my videos, like, you know, because that's my day to day and he's my day to day. I don't even have a verse ready for y'all right now. We're going to do it together. One thing I do love in the back of the Bibles is whatever you're dealing with, you could just go to the back of the Bible and find, you know, whatever you're dealing with. So if you need, let's say, like, it, it just brings up certain things. They talk about um, servants. It'll give you uh, verses for that. Seeking, First Peter 5, uh, chapter 5, verse 8. But we're going to look up for in anxiety. Proverbs 12, verse 25, and anxious, Philippians 4, ch chapter 4, verse 6. But we're going to check the Proverbs one out. Proverbs is my favorite book in the Bible. This is Proverbs 12, verse 25. Anxiety in the heart of a man causes depression, but a good word makes it glad. That's a good word because there's many times many times where I go into the Bible or I'm just reading the Bible and I have clarity on so so much and one of my favorite Bible verses is be still and know that I am your Lord it just this this gives me chills because no matter what God is telling you to relax I got it and this is just the first point of going into like how I deal with anxiety with God in in the first point is I seek God first and it's Psalms 46 chapter 10 be still and know that I am God and this can be interpreted in multiple ways how I take it is God is telling us to be quiet calm your anxious mind calm your racing heart know that no matter what you go through good or bad I got you calm down it's like it's like you're this child 
going to their mother or father and you're just like oh i got this going on and they're relaxing you like that's what a a, a father and a mother would do it's just like calm down relax know that I got you. That's how I look at it. God is also your refuge and strength no matter what is happening. That's how I take it, like literally just be still. Those two words, be still, is a lot. And I feel like those are two words that is very good for anxiety. Be still, just be still. And in that moment when I do have anxiety as a creative, and especially when it comes to like work my life the mind is is a crazy place and a lot of times everything is going on and you have to be still you have to be still and trust in the lord the second thing that i also do is i will go work out whether it's a walk a jaw jumping rope i just work out i need something to decompress and work up a sweat honestly and in another lex talk i want to talk about how fitness can make you more creative i feel like working out is essential especially for what we do because a lot of creatives like whether you're a designer videographer photographer i don't know a painter illustrator especially if you're a creative that works at the desk we're always like at the desk sitting down and i do feel like that you know being fit just helps with your body so much for people who have apple watches you realize your apple watch tells you to stand whenever you're in a sitting down motion for so so long because let's be real humans aren't meant to stand still we're meant to move like move our bodies move, move our legs move our arms you know move our limbs and you know going out whether you're just inside getting a workout whether you're outside getting a workout going to the gym whatever have that time for you to where it's just like when you have that anxiety just be like okay let me take care of this first you know before i do anything else and um i think that's important number three go outside and get some fresh air you don't know how like good it feels like i have a very active dog a very very active dog matter of fact you're gonna meet him now kovu he's 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 kind of like pouting because i'm not throwing the ball to him so he like he's going like you don't hear him but he's going he's literally bringing me a ball like this ball that's like you've done with it like that it honestly needs going to trash i have a very active dog and i'm so grateful for him because i got kovu in a time where i was going through depression and anxiety and he's brought me a lot of joy and one of the things i realize is i gotta go outside and get some fresh air and i would spend that time with him you know throwing the ball to him you know and i would get get some sun in me i would get you know just be outside and enjoy nature and you know that's that bonding time between me and him is you know whenever he sees me put on a pair of shoes one he's addicted to it he, it's like a, a a drug like he's really he really has problems when it comes to being outside and want to throw the ball so you know but what can you do like i'm grateful to have an active dog but it just in that time spending with my dog i just realized like the things that i cherished about that and without kovu i don't think i would have that like he definitely has brought me outside more than i have without him you know so yeah get a breath of fresh air and just reset decompress you know what i'm saying a fourth thing i would say and these are not listed these are just my natural answers what i truthfully do and what i think that can help other creators with anxiety create your emotions like if you're a painter and you're feeling anxious paint what you feel if you're a graphic designer like me design how you're feeling like whatever you're into you know whatever you want to design like i love teachers i love fashion so i have i literally have a a a, a shirt that i um i haven't designed it yet but i i have it like drawn out sketched out and it's talking about this thing right here like anxiety like just don't think about it if you're a photographer go out and take pictures i know a photographer who has anxiety just to pick up that camera and go that has to be so peaceful and just go out in the streets go out in nature go on the nature trail and just take pictures yeah. same thing with a videographer if you're a musician first and foremost if you're an artist a rapper a singer a songwriter that is probably the most beautiful form of creativity 
to express yourself because you're using words poets are in there as well but to create like a mood and have people relate to that and dance to that and just listen to that I feel like other than like video like talking to an audience I feel like that is probably the highest form of relating to human beings like I feel like that's just so beautiful so whatever your art is whatever your creativity is I don't care what you do create how you feel point blank period create how you feel also this might be my last point uh, I'm just going with the flow with these videos but call a friend phone a friend and just you know talk about how you feel you have to talk to somebody about how you feel you got to have people in your corner that's going to be there for you because going through all this stuff by yourself is hard you know and you know other than god why not talk to friends like why not pick up the phone because they could be going through the same thing too it's good to have a circle of friends that you can call whenever you do need help in that aspect i have a good you know support group around me like friends family um and I think I take that for granted. I don't think I call them as much as I should to, you know, relieve that anxiety. If I do call anybody, it's my granddaddy whenever I'm going through something because I know he will give me a good word from the Bible and just, just life lessons in general. You know, he's been on this planet for 81 years. So he knows a lot more than me. It's just important to phone a friend, phone a family member, phone a loved one to, you know, talk about what you're feeling in that moment, what you're going through, you know what I'm saying? And get their insight on it and stuff like that. I think it's really important to show people that you value what they think and their opinions. And I think in return, they would appreciate, they appreciate the call, like that they know that you trust them with, with what you're bringing to them, you know what I'm saying? And um, I think I definitely have taken advantage of that over the years. But yeah, that's all I have for Lex Talk. Um, this is the first episode of Lex Talk. This is probably going to be like my favorite thing, my favorite series on the channel. It's going to be better than the design with me's or the live, live stream, design live streams, vlogs. All the things that I'm bringing here, I feel like this is going to be my personal favorite because it's really intimate connecting with the audience and with people who actually genuinely care to have these conversations and, um, you know, just have creative people coming together and build this community of just like helping one another because we all go through stuff as especially as creatives and i think we're in this world we're very i feel like we're underrated i really do i know we live in a world where social media and TikTok and six seconds and you know scroll 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 and all you do is see creatives but i think because creatives have become such the norm now it's kind of underrated in the aspect of like we don't see creatives especially content creators as human beings anymore i'm pretty sure you could take your favorite fitness influencer and you hold them up to the celebrity status but you forget that they go through things too and um i think spaces like this like i really want to create that space where you know we can all come together as creative people and you know talk about these type of things that i will be talking about on lex talk thank you for whoever has watched this this first episode of lex talk it hasn't been written down i just went with the flow and i just went off the top of my head and that's what a lot of these these conversations are going to be very authentic not scripted just literally like bringing something different without like oh I, I have this i need to talk about this i need to talk about no i'm just gonna go off the top of my head and just let it rip you know that's just how i am so thank you guys for watching the first episode of lex talk stay tuned because i am vlogging and i am like writing down some youtube videos that i want to do design wise i want to do some rebranding videos showing y'all behind the scene behind the scenes of some design projects i'm working on it's just going to be a lot of design content a lot of lifestyle content and implementing like i like to put fashion and lifestyle together but yeah gonna be implementing stuff like that make sure you guys like comment and subscribe comment down below if you have good ways to deal with anxiety as well not just as a creative but just a person in general but as a creative as well and um if you don't want to comment that just comment comment ycv you know comment ycv so yeah like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all on the next one peace